Hello friends, let's say that day has come, you need to migrate from Oracle to another database, and YugabyDB became your database of choice. What's the easiest way to complete the migration from Oracle to YugabyDB? YugabyDB version. Let me show you how it works in practice. Let's go. All right, let's start with an introduction to YugabyDB Voyager. Voyager is an open source data migration engine and tool. It allows you to move from various databases to your distributed YugabyDB cluster. As for the target databases, presently the tool supports Postgres, Oracle, MySQL, and the cloud native versions of those databases, such as Amazon Aurora. Uh, but today we are going to see how to use the tool for the Oracle migration. I selected the following Sakila database schema. It's a well-known schema that represents a movie rental company, many tables such as payments, rentals, inventory, and films. Uh, and I created a simple application. Uh, this application is basically a dashboard that connects to the database and uses the schema to show you the most recent rentals and the top sales are by categories, such as what's the most popular types of movies are, are among the customers. We can also run the simulation uh, for this app and you'll see that the dashboard is going to be updated with new data. Wonderful. So right now, as I said, this application runs on Oracle and I deployed an Oracle instance in uh, Amazon Web Services, that's their version of the database. And uh, my goal is to move this application from Oracle to a distributed YugabyDB cluster. I'm using a YugabyDB manager and uh, there I deployed a three node cluster in the South Carolina region and each node is deployed in one of their availability zones. Done? That's the setup. Let's move forward with the migration. All right, one more check before we migrate uh, the data. Uh, yeah, I use uh, SQL Plus uh, that is connected to my Oracle instance in the AWS. And just in case uh, that's uh, what we need to do, we need to move for uh, all the tables and all the data and all the stored procedures around 16 tables. So uh, the first step, uh, let's use the Voyager's export schema command that will uh, move your schema into the export dir. Uh, that's the directory on my local laptop and my target database is Oracle and that instance as you already know runs in their AWS. Done. So their tool successfully connected to the Oracle database instance in the cloud and right now it's uh, moving all the relations and objects such as sequences, tables, triggers, store procedures, and more. It should take around a minute. Let's wait. Done. Uh, the schema exported successfully in my local export dir directory. A next step. You know that Oracle is not compatible with PostgreSQL and YugabyDB, which means that in generally we should be ready to introduce different schema level changes if necessary. Uh, whether you need to do that or not, or YugabyDB Voyager would also help you to answer this question. It has a special analyze schema command that uh, validates uh, their schema that was migrated and prints you a report. Let's run it. And the report is generated. Well, let's take a look. So generally that's what we see. We generated and migrated 13 sequences, 16 tables, many indexes, views and triggers. And what's good is that the invalid count setting for all of those objects is set to zero, which means that generally the migration went well and we don't need to adjust the schema. So no any issues, no any errors. However, there is always a room for optimizations because Oracle, PostgreSQL and YugabyDB are different. So let me show you one of the potential optimizations that you would like to introduce if you're migrating from the Sakila schema or similar one. 
So I'm opening uh, that directory and let me go to the tables SQL that was generated by <coughs> Voyager. If, take, if to take a look at the actor table, it has the actor ID column and that is their primary key. And that primary key is going to be incremented automatically if you don't supply any value. So let's open the triggers. And here is you will find that actor before trigger on the actor table that checks that if your application doesn't provide <coughs> the value, then, then it's, we are going to use their uh, sequence to generate the next ID for you. And this is actually how you need to do things in Oracle. But you know that in PostgreSQL and YugabyteDB, you can define the next well function within the table definition. You don't need to have a special trigger for that. So that's one of the potential optimizations. Uh, let's do that. Uh, let me open the, my project. And in that project, I created an updated version for the table. The updated version of the table uh, has the following syntax. We are also going to support the outer increment for this primary key, but the next well function is defined in the table, which means that we also can simplify the implementation of the trigger. Uh, there's the same trigger for the actor table, and here is we no longer do anything with the primary key, but we only keep updating the last update column uh, for whenever any change is introduced to a record. So what we need to do, and we, we, we did this for all of the tables that we have and for all of the triggers. Let's replace uh, this optimized schema and uh, see how it works. So that's my table SQL that is generated by Voyager and I'm replacing it. So that's how I'm going to auto increment the primary keys. And we need to do the same for the triggers. Let's update them. That's my updated version. And that's the version that was generated by Voyager. All right, done. So that's one of the possible optimizations. And you need to decide what needs to be done. So let's run the Voyager Analyze Schema once again, just in case to make sure that we don't have any issues. No, the schema looks good, the invalid count parameter is set to zero for all of the objects, which means that we are ready to move forward with the third step of our process. We are going to use the export data command that exports the data into the same export deal location from our Oracle instance. All right. The tool has successfully connected. It uh, found that we need to move data from 16 tables. And here is we are listing all of those tables. So it also will take a minute or so because we used uh, the movie rental dashboard and the app extensively. So there's a lot of data. So let's wait. Okay, the data export phase is over. We migrated the, all of the records. We have many films, we have actors, we have a lot of rentals. So, so far, so good. And uh, which means that we are ready to move with the next phase. Now we can import, apply the schema and data to uh, my distributed YugabyteDB cluster. So for that, let me actually first connect to YugabyteDB and show you what I have in this database. Okay, I'm using PySQL for that connection. And also let me set the path to admin schema. That's uh, the schema that is going to be created by uh, the Voyager. And that's the schema that was used on the Oracle side. So now we don't have any relations in our distributed YugabyteDB cluster. So how do we change that? We use Voyager and uh, the import schema command. The import schema command takes your schema from the following directory. That's my local directory. And it applies the schema to your YugabyteDB cluster. And my cluster is running in, uh, in the cloud. Okay, let's move forward. Uh, the tool <coughs> successfully connected to the Yugabyte 
and that's my version of the database and right now as you can see we are we have been applying uh, all the objects or the relations and uh, this also will complete within a minute done so everything was exported successfully no any issues which means that the schema is there let's double check it okay here is we've got all of the tables all of the sequences and they're just for the sake of the experiment uh, let's see how many actors do we have in the table nothing we need to migrate the data let's do that for that again we are using the import command by we are saying to migrate the data that is located under the following directory and we are again moving this data to the same yugabyteDB instance okay the tool successfully connected to the same yugabyteDB cluster and we are going to preload all the data in parallel so let's wait and let's see how it works it will be fast and easy all right done and now we are just adjusting the sequences because the sequences need to start with certain uh, numbers so the final step is once you did that you want to apply triggers and you want to apply any possible other like indexes and triggers that you usually don't need during the load phase but you need to have them afterwards and for that we again using the import schema command but we are specifying the post import data object which means that after you do that the voyager will connect to your cluster and uh, it will create all of the indexes and all of the triggers uh, that existed in oracle so let's give it some time to finish this last phase completed so now we can say that the full process the full cycle is over we exported the data and the schema from oracle and we applied everything to yugabyte db and the last check if you check how many actors do we have in this table you see that the data is already in yugabyte so what i want to do next let me switch the application from Oracle to YugabyteDB. That's my application that runs on Oracle. Let's stop it. And here is, uh, we need to update the following file, the environment file that specifies the settings. Before that application was connected to Oracle, that's what we have. And next the application will switch to YugabyteDB, that's the host address, user, password or the database name and we are going to use the secured connection so now let's update the settings if you refresh this application you'll see that it's down right now because we have just stopped it but uh, once i use this command the application is up and right now the app is successfully connected to yuga by db wonderful uh, let's refresh the screen and you see that all the data all the recent rentals that we had in oracle and uh, the information about the sales by categories right now is stored in yugabyte db and the application can uh, uh, works without any changes so if you run the simulation the same will happen uh, in the yugabyte db cluster you'll see that the data uh, gets updated new rentals uh, coming to the yugabyte db cluster and your instance runs across several availability zones congratulations job done all right that was fast and easy wasn't it here is the next step for you download yugabyte db voyager and give it a try try to migrate from an existing oracle app to yugabyte db and let us know what you think stay tuned for the next videos on distributed sql bye bye now